Not only people think about how to equip their homes. And if you think that birds and insects are absolutely indifferent to where they live, you are greatly mistaken. In this video we will introduce you to the most incredible animals and their homes that can participate in any international architectural exhibition. If you envy the birds that they are able to build their dream home without a mortgage, then subscribe to the channel and be sure to express your opinion in the comments. We know that this is another blow to the pride of the crown of creation, but there are not enough features in us that cannot be found in other species. Take a look at architecture, for example. We have far surpassed other species of animals, but apartment buildings, dormitories and even comfortable villas were invented long before we thought of making and using building materials. Their size is able to amaze our imagination to this day. Take a look. No, this is not an archaeological site. Scientists are digging up a nest of ants. Just look at how gigantic it is. But birds are also known for their architectural masterpieces. So let's start with them. A miniature bird is called social beaver because it lives in large colonies, a hundred individuals and more. Typically, these birds live in South Africa and are able to build houses that resemble large haystacks up to 8 meters in height. You must agree, their houses bear little resemblance to the usual nests. Most likely, they look like apartment buildings thrown over a tree. Such buildings have existed for decades. Some of them were built even before the houses our parents lived in. Such structures can be found not only on trees, but also on power poles, which causes a nervous tick among local electricians. Despite the outward negligence, it is difficult to be inside such a haystack. Old nests are structured in a special way and their number can reach up to 300. In addition, a pair of birds live in each of them at once along with their offspring. In the common house of the social weavers, a constant microclimate is maintained and all entrances are protected from predators by special transverse sticks. These birds build cell apartments, just as people build social housing. But if you look from a different point of view, the weaver chooses a safe place for construction, above ground level, in order to prevent predators from making their way to their offspring. By the way, people in antiquity took this method into service and built fortresses and settlements on the hills in order to be able to see the approach of enemies earlier and provide defense. But not all birds profess the principle in cramped conditions but not offended. Australian oscillated chickens, for example, are ready to reproduce children only in individual nests. And not in simple nests, but heated ones. No, this is not a meteorite crater. This is just an oscillated hen's nest. These birds invented underfloor heating technology before it became mainstream among humans. What's the secret? A little rubbish is enough. Their 4 to 5 meter high mansions have a thick backing of rotting leaves. As it decomposes, it provides the eggs with a consistently high temperature. There is another very interesting bird. It is called bowerbird or gazebo bird. They do not know how to sing beautifully, so in order to attract females, these cunning ones came up with this. Males build peculiar huts on the ground. And the clearing in front of them is decorated with all sorts of bright little things. Flowers, shells and berries. The brighter and more beautiful the hut turns out, the more chances the male has to attract the female. A hut on the ground serves only for seduction and has nothing to do with a nest. They build their nests in the trees. These forest birds descend to the ground only during the mating season. Mammals are doing pretty well too. No, we are not talking about people. These guys cheat and use the mind with tools. We're talking about Canadian beavers. 
Beavers rarely live alone. Usually, this is a family of five to eight individuals, and the children continue to live with their parents for up to two years. These tireless hard workers have built the longest hostel in the world. Their 850-meter dam can be seen from space. Dozens of beavers keep this structure in working order and make it longer every year. Previously there was a small river, but now it is a personal swamp of beavers. Beavers are true natural architects. They build fantastic structures that water cannot budge. Beaver skills are useful even when building dams and hydroelectric power plants. But usually beavers build their houses where it is impossible to dig a hole, in a swamp or on a river covered with mud. The house is built from silt and brushwood and sometimes reaches 3 meters in height. Inside the beaver house there is a hole into the water, since the entrance is always underwater, and a small platform made of branches for rest. In winter the inside temperature remains above zero and the water does not freeze. The wildlife is amazing. But termites surpassed everyone. Termites build their homes from their own saliva and shredded wood, which form a rapidly hardening mixture. They manage to build entire cities within one building. Hardworking insects design a mega house throughout the life of the colony, so the termite mound reaches an average of 5 meters. But this is on average. The tallest building reached almost 13 meters, weighing more than 20 tons. The inside of the mound is incredibly complex. It has many separate interconnected chambers for eggs and young larvae, workers and soldiers, as well as its own ventilation system which maintains a constant microclimate inside the mound. Thanks to such incredible infrastructure, even the most secluded corners of the metropolis are cool and easy to breathe. Moreover, such houses are only the tip of the iceberg. Underground is an intricate network of interconnected passages, chambers and manholes. The largest underground city has almost reached the size of Great Britain, 230,000 square kilometers. Just think that it was built by insects. Termites have shown people the ability to organize powerful natural ventilation. This principle has helped people in building mines and organizing tunnels. The tiny termites have shifted soil equivalent to 4,000 great pyramids of Giza. As we just learned, some birds boast the ability to create unusual architectural nest designs. However, these are birds who have not graduated from the University of Construction and Architecture, so they build their nest in their own way, risking their own lives. It turns out that some birds collect animal fur to make their nest warm. It is generally believed that birds using animal hair in their nests pull it out from dead animals or pick up pieces that have fallen out during molting. However, many cases were recorded when a bird pulled out hair from a living mammal. Scientists gave this wool theft the name Kleptotricha. Most often, according to observations, sharp crested tits steal wool. The source is dogs, cats, raccoons, and even humans. The birds pulled out the fur not only from sleeping, but also from those who were quite awake. According to the records, this did not bother the animals much. Apparently, the birds know where and how much to rip and pluck so as not to get a response. Scientists say that the use of animal hair not only makes the nest warmer, but may also have additional functions. The fur of predators can scare away enemies from the nest. For example, the crested yellow-bellied tyrant living in America picks up and uses the skin shed by a snake during molting in the construction of a nest. Some African birds use the droppings of predatory animals to scare away the enemy from the nest. <laughs> what is going on, Sydney? <laughs> Dear friends, ending this video, we want to say that this story teaches us one important thing. Do not underestimate nature. 
even the smallest animals are not inferior to people in those matters where humans gain confidence. Just watch them and you yourself will notice amazing things. See you soon!